Hi, my name is Wade Weasling, and I'm the Vice President of Culinary for Landry's Incorporated, uh, who owns the Ocean Air Seafood Room and Morton's a Steakhouse. I have been in the restaurant business for approximately 30 years, and I've been an executive chef for 18 of those years. Uh, welcome into my kitchen. Even though it's in the dead of winter here, we're going to be doing some wonderful food items using the 365 indoor-outdoor product line. We're going to be out on the gas grill, we're going to be in the oven, and show you the versatility of these products as we go throughout the morning here. We started unwrapping and it was just piece after piece of all this new products. We do a great deal of entertaining and the nice thing about the 365 product line is that they're not only beautiful to look at, but they're also great conversation starters because they're definitely things that you don't see every day. There's really well thought out uh, things like this cactus kebab thing that has a flat part of the skewer. So as you're turning these things on the grill, you know, you see I have sausages on here. Typically when you skewer sausages, they're going to roll around. The unique design of this one prevents those from rolling around. There's plenty of variety of items that you can use. Uh, there's a backsplash griddle that you can not only use on your grill, you can also put it directly over a burner and use it to make some wonderfully crisp paninis and sandwiches. You can make pancakes on it, French toast. Uh, the versatility is there, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It's the grill steam multi-cooker. You could use that to steam vegetables in it, to roast some ribs in it, whole fish. It's long enough, it's built for both the oven and the grill. And the cheese melting dome is something that is obviously made for the grill to help melt cheese. It will fit on just about any saute pan, so you could use it as a splash cover, you could use it uh, on the uh, backsplash griddle itself. This is the cactus kebab. Chicken, andouille sausage, and shrimp, peppers, onions, tomatoes. These are real simple to make. Cut up all of your ingredients roughly the same size so that the cooking time is equivalent. And this is just some Creole seasoning. They're pretty mild for my palate. They do have a little bit of zip to them. This is the Nordic Ware quarter, quarter sheet pan. I'm gonna spray these with just a little bit of olive oil and then I'm gonna go put that on the grill. This is the meatball griller, conveniently designed to use it on the grill. Uh, however, you could use it in the oven. You'd want to put a quarter sheet pan underneath of it to catch all the drippings, but it is nonstick. Meatballs are one thing, but I'm gonna show you the versatility of this one. These are some stuffed mushrooms, and I've stuffed them with a blend of chorizo sausage, and again, this is non-sticks. I don't have to put anything in there to prepare the pan. And you can see how this is gonna make grilling them snap because they're not gonna roll around on my grill. And you can expose them to a little bit more of the uh, direct heat that you might not be able to do if you were just gonna throw these right on the grill. And here's my Cajun kebab using the cactus kebab. Again, look at that. I do that, my ingredients stay where they should be so I can grill these with ease. And in about 10 minutes, we're gonna come back and we're gonna check on these. Here is the a potato baker. You can see that these unique flanges are made so you can put a potato directly right on it. These are sweet potatoes or yams. I'm going to cook these right on the grill. I'm just going to use this, the uh, serration of the flange up here. This entire piece is going to conduct heat. Push it right down on top of there like that. Slip these right onto the grill. Another fun product is this or chicken leg roaster. Indoor, outdoor. You could set it directly on your fire in the summertime or you could um, bake these in the oven. And again, it's non-stick, so uh, once these chicken legs get cooked, um, everything's gonna uh, clean up in a snap. Uh, those are marinated for about two hours. You can see I've just inserted them right through these little holes right there. Once these get finished, I'm gonna finish off this dish with some crab stuffed jalapenos. My grill is pretty full right now, so I'm gonna show you some of the versatility of these products by starting these off in the oven. I can always finish them on the grill to give them a nice little smoky finish to them. This is the stuffed burger maker, and I'm gonna make some stuffed pizza burgers out of ground turkey. First thing you want to do is make two approximate equal sizes of your burger meat and then the first thing you're going to do is press using the concave side so you get a unique little well. So again I'm going to make two of these. Then I'm going to fill this with just a little spoonful of pizza sauce and some shredded Italian cheeses. And you, flip, you flip the other piece over this and you use the other side to seal the whole thing together. It's got these little holes in there to prevent that vacuum and that suction, so when you pull it up, it comes up clean. Okay, I'm gonna check on my Cajun kebab here and my stuffed mushrooms. They should be just about ready to come off the grill. Ooh, look at that. No flipping. Everything's evenly cooked. My sausages are, are nicely browned on both sides there. My stuffed mushrooms are looking 
really dynamite right now. I'm just gonna top these with a little bit of shredded cheese mixture. Again, I'm not worried about overage or spillage onto the nonstick surface. It's all gonna clean up in a snap. Look at that. Cheese is just a little bit melted. Got, not, got a lot of nice sizzle on there. Got a lot of nice color. Beautiful. My stuffed mushrooms are ready. All the grease has dripped through. I got a nice little caramelization, nice little color on the bottoms of these mushroom caps. And look how easy this cleans up. Look at this. I'm gonna check on my, ooh, they're getting nice and soft already. The heat on this potato baker with those fins that are actually inside the potatoes, helping them cook a little bit faster. So they're gonna be done a little bit sooner than I thought. Now these are my stuffed turkey burgers. I'm just gonna stick these on the grill. This is the Nordic Ware 365 uh, cornbread and scone pan. This is something that while the fire's still hot outside in the summertime, while you grill, you can pour some cornbread batter right in there and stick it right on the grill and you're gonna have some wonderful cornbread to go with your ribs or your burgers. This is a uh, white chocolate bread pudding mixture that I made. And I'm just gonna carefully spoon some of the mixture into each one of these compartments. And when it's completed, you'll see how easy it is to remove from the compartments. No need to grease the pan. I could cook this right on the grill as well. I put this into a water bath. This is the beer can chicken roaster. I'm gonna pull this off so you can see what we got here. Whole thing comes right up, right up out of there. You could put this directly on the grill or you could use the insert on the bottom to do like I did and do it in the oven. And it should be nice and moist because all that moisture works its way up through the lemons, through the citrus and really perfumiates the meat of the chicken. Look at here, look at that. You don't get this in a supermarket. I'm gonna add the peppers to these. Again, these are jalapeno peppers and then I pump them full of a crab meat and cream cheese mixture and they conveniently fit right into these chicken leg holes. If you did lay them on the side, that crab meat mixture would ooze out of the pepper. So this is a really clever way to keep these upright. Here is my Cajun kebabs. This is all not in stick. So again, I wanna show you how easy this is to come off. Look at this. Look at that. No problem, no embarrassing situations. And again, nice and easy to clean up. It works as advertised. These are looking spectacular. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this off with a ring of green bell pepper and a slice of pepper jack cheese. The Nordic Ware cheese melting dome. These are the baked yams, cooked completely on the grill. Look how easy they come off. Because you've inserted these potatoes or yams right on these serrated flanges, they pop right open. I'm gonna to top these with a little bit of homemade uh, maple pecan butter. I'm gonna check out my turkey burgers. Look at that. Using the cheese melting dome, nice and melty on there. Beautiful. Again, I'm using the uh, Nordic Ware cheese melting dome to keep all the moisture in there and keep them moist while I'm preparing my, my burger setups here. Look at that. And we'll cut into one and you'll see all that pizza sauce and the cheese come running out of there. These will be delicious. With the nonstick coating on this uh, Nordic Ware 365 indoor outdoor um, chicken leg roaster, there's no need to remove this right from the roaster. You could set this right on the table and serve your guests right from there. It's got a nice look to it. Uh, it's a nice conversation starter. And again, you can put that right in the middle of the table and it would make a stunning centerpiece. Now my uh, white chocolate challah bread pudding, just about ready. You got a little bit of browning on top of there, but the bottom's gonna be nice and creamy consistency. I'm gonna pull it right out of my water bath and we wanna enjoy it warm. And I wanna show you how, how easily this removes from here. Again, you're not gonna struggle with it. Look how clean it is down in there. And your bread pudding is nice and set up, but we're gonna serve this family style. So what I'm gonna do is just take it, give it a couple taps. Look at that. Slides right out. And look how clean that pan is. And just top it with a little bit of whipped cream, some simple caramel sauce, and some fresh chocolate shavings. Voila, white chocolate bread pudding.